Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats. I'm back with another video. We have another uh, 4K Blu-ray to talk about this week. And, uh, yeah, another Arrow. Yeah, you can tell Arrow got a bit of my money lately. So, but, uh, yeah, I got this one in today. Or, actually, I got it in yesterday and was checking out the movies to review them. And we have The Woman uh, from Arrow Video. And right off the bat, I'm going to say... Um, this 4K has some problems with it, okay? Not really in terms of picture quality or sound quality, but just, okay, the one thing that really bugs me about this is that uh, this, you know, this release has the, uh, now I know Arrow did the Blu-ray release, obviously 4K and everything, so, but, uh, the okay, right off the bat, the thing that bugs me about this is that this is actually a double feature set. You actually have the woman, but you have the movie Offspring, which to, if there's anybody, I'm sure, you know, if you're watching this video, chances are you already know that the woman, <clears throat> excuse me, you know that the woman is actually a sequel to the movie Offspring. And, but the thing is, so I would say, if you're going to watch, if you've never seen this before, you pick this up. I would say watch Offspring before you watch The Woman because Offspring was the first movie. The Woman is the second movie. There was a third movie. I can't remember the name of it. Polly, Pollyanna McIntosh wrote and directed it and starred in it, but I can't remember the name of it. That's like another little gripe I have. It's like, well, you know, you put those two movies in there. You know, why couldn't you get the rights and, you know, fit the third one in? Make it a trilogy, you know? Now, in terms of the books, now... Um, Offspring is actually the sequel to Jack Ketchum, the late great Jack Ketchum's book, Off Season, which, from my understanding, reading Fangoria and stuff back in the day, there were numerous attempts to try to get Off Season turned into a movie, but it just never manifested. Um, I think a lot of it had to do just because of how grisly and dark and graphic and everything the book Off Season is. That's a good thing, you know. If uh, you ever want, like, a book that has some real, real bite, no no pun intended, but if you ever want a book with some real bite, I mean, a vicious, gruesome, gross book, you know, like some that, you know, just really, really intense and everything, you know, well, any of Jack Ketchum's books are good for that, but Off Season is a great book for that. But uh, getting back to this, um, <clears throat> now, of course, you know, it's, there you go, you know, uh, the Woman, directed by Lucky McKee. Now, <clears throat> I do appreciate the fact that they did put Offspring on here, and it is on 4K, but I am irritated by the fact that you don't know that it's part of this set. The only way you will know is you have to check, you know, you have to read everything back here to find out that the movie's even included. So I kind of wish for, like, the cover art they could have done something or at the very least, you know, like, you know, down here, you know, maybe like put like Pollyanna McIntosh in a Lucky McKee film, the woman and, you know, so it includes, you know, includes offspring, you know, something kind of let, <clears throat> sorry, let people know what they're getting themselves into. Or, you know, maybe do like a, do like a kind of a, like a split, you know, one half could be like offspring, the other one could be the woman, something, you know. So that's the thing. A lot of people who are there are going to be a lot of people who are going to bypass this 4K and they're not even going to know that this is actually a two-movie set, you know? So that is, that's probably my biggest gripe with this edition, you know? So anyway, but yeah, it's not the big box, you know, just standard slip cover and everything else. Uh, let's get into the bonus features here. On The Woman, we have 4K restoration supervised and improved by Lucky McKee. Um, let's see here. 4K presentation, Dolby Vision, HDR10 compatible, original DTS HD MA 5.1 surround audio, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, audio commentary with director Lucky McKee, editor Zach Passero, sound designer Andrew Sm Smetek, sorry if I mispronounce that, and composer Sean uh, Spillane, audio commentary with star Pollyanna McIntosh, Audio commentary with uh, with critic uh, Scott Weinberg. Archival commentary with director Lucky McKee. Uh, Dad on the Wall. Dad on the Wall, okay. A 75-minute fly on the wall, behind-the-scenes documentary, filmed by the director's father, Mike McKee. 
Uh, Being Peggy Cleek, an interview with star uh, Lauren Ashley Carter. Um, we'll see what else. Malum Domesticon. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, an archive making up featurette. Meet the Makers, a, shop, a short featurette on the making of the film. Deleted scenes. Um, Miburo, a short film by editor Paul Zach Passero. Um, distracted music video by Sean Spillane, uh, Fright Fest, Total Film Panel Discussion, a 2011 onstage chat about the future of American indie horror at the popular horror film festival featuring Lucky McKee, Andrew Vanden Houghton, uh, Larry Fessenden, Adam Green, Joe Lynch, and Ty West, theatrical trailers and image gallery, now that's what you get on Woman 4K, on the Offspring 4K you get 4K restoration supervised and approved by Andrew Vanden Houghton. 4K uh, presentation in Dolby Vision HDR10 compatible. Original DTS HD MA 5.1 surround audio. Optional English and de- on <sighs> Sorry, I got mixed up. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary with director producer Andrew Van- Vanden Houghton and digital colorist uh, Matt McCain. McLean, sorry. Archival commentary with Jack Ketchum, director producer Andrew Vanden Houghton, and producer cinematographer William M. M. Miller. Interview with Pollyanna McIntosh and Jack Ketchum. Let's see here. Uh, or no. Wait a Pollyanna McIntosh and Andrew Vanden Houghton. Sorry, I skipped over. It's kind of hard. Very small print. Fly on the wall. Behind the scenes documentary. Extended interview with Jack Ketchum, restoration comparison, audition comparison, progeny, the birth of offspring, and archive behind the scenes featurette, including interviews with cast and crew. Uh, first, first Stolen's bailout, an archive behind the scenes featurette, uh, website, webisodes, short featurettes used to promote the film online, archive Easter eggs, theatrical trailer, image gallery. I'm sorry. But just after a while, trying to read all that tiny print, it gets to be a bit of a pain. So anyway, so that's your bonus features on here. Uh, so anyway, so yeah. So this is what you got. And then turn it over. You do get reversible cover art for Offspring. So there is that. There we go. It's pretty basic. It's very simple. This is, you know, for Arrow, this is standard. So you got your little booklet. I'll show that to you in just a second. Hang on. You got your two discs here on 4K. You got, yeah, you see, unfortunately, some of that grease and stuff inside the case. But you got the Woman 4K. You got Offspring 4K. So... Of course, we got to have. Oh, this time instead of Weird Science, we got Lover's Lane. There you go. We got that. Anywho, now we got our little booklet. Unfortunately, mine got sustained a little bit of damage there at the bottom. But, and on the back, Pollyanna McIntosh. Uh, let's see here. So, there you go. You got Jack Ketchum himself playing a like a coroner. And Offspring. He also wrote the script for the film. Uh, let's see. Angela Bettis and the little girl from The Woman. So, let's see what else we got here. Anything good? Okay, and there's whoop, Lucky McKee. Yeah, I know. I mean, I kind of feel bad, too. I mean, like Lucky McKee was one of those directors. I think everybody thought he was going to break out so much bigger. You know? Uh, let's see, anything, I'm trying to find, okay, there's Pollyanna McIntosh tied up, well, chained up in The Woman, and yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, very simple, small little booklet, you know, some write-ups and stuff like that. So, anyway, there you go, that's where that is at. Now, I will tell you, honestly, if you had bought the Blu-ray that Arrow had put out of The Woman, um... I don't know if this 4K is going to really sell you. It does look nice. You know, the 4K transfer is really nice. The, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a beautifully shot film. 
Um, you know, definitely uh, some of the daytime scenes are darker, especially, you know, you got the HDR and stuff. Um, like the scenes in the basement with uh, her, with the woman and stuff, you know, like those scenes, they're easier to see now, you know, because the, HD, the HDR brings up the darkness levels and stuff like that. Um, but it does look beautiful. It's a beautifully shot film. You know, I believe it was shot on digital. Um, and I believe uh, Offspring was as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very, uh, it's a very polished looking film. Um, the daytime scenes look really good, especially because, uh, you know, with the HDR, the, the lighting looks a lot more natural. It looks like natural daytime colors and things like this. Um, yeah, the, uh, like, so, you know, some colors do pop out, especially like the green on the farm that she's being held at, the green from the leaves on the trees, the green from the grass, things like that. So yeah, certain colors do pop out. Um, you know, just, uh, the effects work looks really good on here. Um, I did think that, you know, like when I watched the, uh, Blu-ray before, um, I do remember thinking to myself, I was like, well, it kind of looks a little too bright and, and, you know, the, the blood looks a little too, you know, like bright red and everything else. You know, I think the HDR kind of gives, um, you know, gives the blood kind of more that like, uh, natural kind of darkish reddish brown kind of look to it so it looks really good you know but um i will say though you know if you had the i did have the blu-ray the arrow blu-ray for this and it's just kind of like it's only like the the difference is very minimal okay now as far as uh you know the sound is fine i mean you know um not the best for just you know like uh, just the regular speaker on your tv it'd be better if you had you know, like a good surround sound or, you know, at the very least, you know, a nice sound bar or something like that. Um, there were a couple of moments, yeah, where I was having to kind of like turn the volume up so I could hear it. But other than that, you know, it, it it's okay. Um, Offspring, um, I will say I had the old, old uh, Lionsgate Blu-ray from back in the day. And I will say that the 4K is a very nice improvement over that. Um yeah, the, uh, I think it definitely helps though too, because with, uh, with Offspring, um, you know, most of the movie takes place at night. So you have a lot of nighttime scenes. And then one thing I, I really appreciate is when you get to the, the scene where, you know, like the cave set where the, the hillside cannibals are hanging out or not hanging out, but where they live. Cause I mean, let's be honest, you know, in case if anybody's never seen Offspring, to be honest with you, it's Jack Ketchum's version of The Hills Have Eyes or Wrong Turn. That's essentially what it is. You know, it's these, you know, which he took the more, kind of like more faithful approach in trying to adapt like the Sawney Bean um, myth rather than what Wes Craven did with The Hills Have Eyes. You know, in this, they're, they're literally living in a cave on the side of a mountain by the ocean and stuff like this. So, so it's a little bit more closer a little bit more true to the Sawney Bean legend than Hills Have Eyes. But, and, and it's a decent movie. And it flies by. And, like, I mean, the movie's only 79 minutes. So, I mean, the movie is quick. It is super fast. You know, not a lot of time for pacing in this movie. It, it's quick. It's fast. But uh, I will say, yes, that the the uh, 4K is a really nice improvement over the, um, the old Lionsgate Blu-ray. It looks great. It sounds great. Um, you know, some of the details, like I said, you know, especially with a lot of the, a lot of the nighttime scenes, the, uh, the gore, you know, and everything, it looks incredible. The practical gore effects look incredibly realistic in here. And, um, I will say though, you know, honestly, not really the woman, but Offspring is the real reason. If you're going to buy this, Offspring is really the reason you're going to want this. Not so much for the woman. Because, like I said, I imagine a lot of people are going to buy, they're going to buy this edition, and then when they watch the woman in 4K, they're going to be, yeah, it looks nice and everything, but, you know, I could have been fine with just the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray would have done the trick for me, you know? So, Offspring is really the reason why you're going to want to buy this, to get that nice, um, you know, that nice 4K transfer, you know, a nice improvement over the old um, Lionsgate Blu-ray and everything else. So, yeah. Offspring's going to be the real reason, which is one of the reasons why I'm irritated that they don't really announce it on here, because I think a lot of people might pass this up, 
you know. They're not going to realize it's a two-movie set. And it was, you know, altogether it was like $33 and change. That's what I got it for. And now you figure, you know, for a double feature on 4K, that's not a bad deal. That's what, $16 and change per movie? So for 4K, that's not bad. You know, you're getting your money's worth. But just like I said, I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest mistake they made with this release was not, you know, promoting Offspring on here as well, you know. And like I said, I think, you know, that was another thing. Just my opinion. I know I have not heard the best things about the third movie, um, but still, I think it would have been kind of cool if they could have, like I said, just include it and make it like a trilogy, you know, make it a three movie set. Like, you know, so yeah, like I got some problems with this, but overall it's, you know, it's fine. You know, both movies look good. You know, Arrow did a good job on the transfers and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, so I would say though, like, yeah, if, you know, you're not interested in Offspring with this, I would say, you know, you could just stick with your Blu-ray and you'll be fine. You know, stick with your old Blu-ray, you'll be fine. Um, but honestly, you know, like if you want to get this, get this for Offspring. That's probably the biggest reason I would recommend buying this. So yeah, there's not really much more I can say about it, but I am happy that I bought it. Um, like I said, it, you know, I have a couple of little nitpicks about it, but uh, other than that, though, I am happy that I bought it. Both movies, you know, I'm not disappointed in the way the movies look or the way they sound. Well, the sound could be a teeny bit better, but but just, yeah, you know, it is nice to have both of them. Like I said, I just wish they could have, like I said, do, do maybe do like a half screen or, or like this or something like that. Maybe you have like Offspring and then The Woman or you know, something like that, you know, like really promote that that movie's on here. I think it would give people a lot more incentive to want to buy this. But uh, anyway, you know, it is, it is what it is, as everybody says nowadays. So there you go. But anyway, yeah, I'm happy I got it. I got it for a decent price. You know, I don't feel ripped off or gypped or anything really like that. I just, you know, there were just some things I kind of wish they could have done a little bit better as far as promoting it and letting you know that the other movie is on there so but anyway so that's going to pretty much do it so uh, if anybody took the time to watch this i thank you for doing it i appreciate you for doing it i honestly hope you enjoyed the video if you did could you please leave it a like and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh that's it everybody take care of my boils and ghouls i'll see you all later